Alright guys, welcome to your 15th video, and in this video we are finally going to be done styling the forms.css file. The last two things that we need to do is we need to style some specific form elements, specifically input areas and text areas. So let's go ahead and do the input areas first. Now the input areas are the form elements for your username, password, email, so on and so forth. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change the font size to 15 pixels. Now that's the font whenever the user enters it, that's what's going to be 15 pixels. Now the padding for this is 5 pixels, just so it's pushed a little bit away from the borders. Speaking of the border, I believe this is the same one as the search, which is 1 pixel solid and hexadecimal B9, BDC1, and I'm actually going to use that again in just a second. Now for the width of this entire input form element, Go ahead and make this 500 pixels and also set the color equal to hexadecimal 50, 50, 50. Now I'm going to sneeze in about 7 seconds. <coughs> oh, nope, it was about 2 seconds and uh, there you go. So anyways, just mind you that the color and the width of all this, this is the color whenever the user enters text. So, you know, just don't forget that. Now I also want to do one other minor thing. Whenever you focus on input, I want to go ahead and set background color to white. Now, even though um, the only thing we have in this form is basically a submit button as well as input areas, in other forms, we're going to be working with text areas. For example, I say example example whenever the user has to list the item and they give a description there's going to be a text area so that's why I want to go ahead and style the text area now even though there isn't a text area like I said on the registration form so let's go ahead and set the font family Arial and the height of this is going to be 150 pixels um, the width Time to start stealing stuff. The width is 500. The font size is 15. Padding 5. Thank you, input areas. Thank you, copy and paste. And for the border, thank God I don't have to copy that. Is that, and for the color, wow, you know the only problem with this? It's a little bit too easy. So we got font family, height, width, font size, padding, border, and color specifically the height this is the only thing that we may want to uh, change a little bit I have to see whenever we're working on our list item page how tall this is but anyways we'll uh, what's it called cross that bridge when you come to it something like that but anyways that is all we have for the forums that CSS now the last little thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and clean up clean up all these blank lines because you don't need blank lines if you don't need them there you go so that is it in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be coding one last CSS file you're saying what the heck do we have left the uh, code that is the CSS specific to this register page right here there is only like five things and it's pretty much overwriting the stuff by default that we already coded that we need to change for this page and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean in the next tutorial but for now um, we are two tutorials away from the good stuff, so just stick with me, and uh, I promise we'll get there soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.